the main effect we get most of the time from the standard sort of modest size solar flares uh, is the northern lights, the aurora borealis, and the southern lights, the aurora australis, uh, which are the colorful dancing lights you see if you're in far northern Alaska or Canada. Solar maximum means the sun. It's most active, it's generating the most magnetic storms on its surface and the most ejections of high energy particles towards the Earth. That has follows an 11 year cycle. Well, we don't know why it's 11 years. So the sun is, in other words, brightening in the sense that its total energy output, not the part we can see, but the total energy output is slightly higher by close to a tenth of a percent than it was five years ago. The result of this is that the sun is rotating. The sun rotates once around on its axis in 26 days. And beneath the surface is rotating even faster. And the sun, of course, is very hot, so all the particles are charged and charged rotating particles generate magnetic fields. So these magnetic fields are generated below the surface of the sun. They also drive a solar wind, which is a wind of particles, that's so like the wind outside, that spreads out throughout the solar system. And they are, among other things, responsible for the northern lights, the aurora borealis, because when those charged particles hit the Earth's magnetic field, they spiral around the field and crash into the north magnetic pole, and that excites the air molecules to glow red and green and other colors.